back. My name is Rachel, the owner of Gigi and Me Boutique on Etsy, and this is part one of our mini series on how to make stickers and card inserts for your gift boxes. Today we're going to talk about making thank you cards, little postcard inserts that you can put into your gift boxes. You're going to need a printer, a paper cutter, and also um, Canva, which is a free program that you can use online, and you'll get a little peek of it as we go through our tutorial today. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a thank you card um, or a flat card insert that you can put into your gift box with your shop information or anything else that you want to add. Um, so I'm in Canva and I'm under the templates and I usually start by looking for postcard. And then you can kind of see if there's any layouts that you like in particular. I wanted to include some product photos on mine, so I chose a postcard that had space for photos. You can do you can do a lot of adjusting as needed once you select your template. Um, let's just go with this one. Okay. So then you can. Um, edit as much as you like but you've got a nice layout to start with. You could change these photos here to product photos. Um, Canva allows you to upload your own pictures so you could select some pictures of things that you make and add those to here. Now these photos have filters on them I can see so you can change that also. Um, and then back here you might want to add your social media info. So again under elements you can look for um, those icons. Um, when you're selecting uh, when you're selecting elements you can see like here it says free. So this one is if you have the free version you're allowed to use that one. Um, if you want to use one like this. That one says Pro on it. So you can either purchase that individual element or you can upgrade to Pro which I think is like $12.95 a month and you'll have access to a lot of other elements on there. I use Canva all the time so I have the Pro version. Anyways there's lots of options either way. You could add your social media info. Um, you could tell them about your shop a little bit. Whatever you choose. So that's kind of the how um, and then you're going to download them as a PDF print so that you can print them at home. I'm going to go ahead and take you over to mine. This is what mine looks like. And I'm going to save this as a template that you can update for your own shop if you would like to use this template. Um, you can change the font. I have a couple of fonts selected as my brand fonts. So I always use these fonts on mine. You can change yours around to whatever you like. And then um, I just have a little thank you note. And I leave some space for myself to write a handwritten note um, to customers when I ship out their packages. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. You can resize it. Um, mine is set to 5.5 by 4.25. Um, you could change it. I do a lot of things on 4 by 6 cards. So you could size it how you want. Anyways, again, you're going to download it as a PDF print, and then I will show you how I print them. How I print it. And I would definitely suggest practicing on regular paper before you use your cardstock. But I like to change it to the landscape view. I'm going to increase the number of copies per page to four so I can get a little bit more out of my paper, and this is going to make them postcard size. I've got it set to letter size paper. Um, you also want to change it to the short edge binding if you have it in this landscape view to make it print front to back correctly. Then last thing is the quality. That's up to you. You're going to use more ink for um, better quality print. If you're just practicing you could use the draft option if your um, printer gives you that option. I'm just going to print mine normally and I'll show you how that comes out. These are my thank you cards. They printed four per page. Here's the backs 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my paper cutter, um, which has little pieces because my son likes to cut things with it. So I'm just gonna use my paper cutter to divide it into my four cards. And that's it, pretty easy. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And I would also love to know if this was helpful to you. Um, have a great day and get creating. Mm -hmm.